If you're trying to find a gift for someone whose entire personality is they travel, odds are you're getting pretty sick of ideas that are just various things with matte prints on them or suggestions that are just super vague like MacBook. Hi, I'm Christina from happytowander.com and in today's video I'm going to be sharing tons of different ideas for travel themed gifts that people will actually love and use. Of course, everything will be broken down based on price range, so you're sure to find something within your budget. And if you stick around until the end, there's even a section with gifts that cost nothing or next to nothing. So be sure to hit that like and subscribe button for more travel themed videos like this one. And let me know in the comments if you have any specific gift ideas that you're looking for, just because I'm a bit of a gift whisperer and I will be happy to help. All right, now let's get started with travel gift ideas under $20. Now, before I get into the many physical items that I have here in front of you, the first thing I'll say is that when it comes to buying gifts for people who travel, probably the thing that they'll value more than anything else is some kind of experience. Honestly, even something as simple as a $20 prepaid visa with a little card that has, you know, oh, your next coffee when you're in X destination is on me and you give them some cute cafe recommendations, that in itself is so thoughtful and would probably be a lot more appreciated than a random gadget that they're probably not gonna use. Honestly, it's not hard to give a gift that's thoughtful, you just kind of need to dress it up in the right way. So I do have a few travel themed templates that you can steal and printables that are 100% free. Feel free to check them out on my website. All right, now onto the physical goods. The first really cute budget friendly travel gift idea that I have for you is a fun luggage tag. So I know that luggage tags aren't exactly revolutionary, but honestly, most travelers don't really buy a fun one for themselves. So it makes a really good inexpensive travel gift. And I think the key to making sure that this gift is awesome is just picking something that's not just generic, but something that really speaks to their specific interests or some kind of memory or references something in their lives so that they know you put some thought into it and didn't just like grab a random one when you were panic shopping at TK Maxx. In a similar vein, you can also consider getting them something called a luggage strap. So these are basically fun straps that you can put around your suitcase so that it's more easily identifiable at the airport or at baggage claim, because honestly, these days, a lot of suitcases look super similar. So if you don't put something distinctive on them, then it's easy for someone to accidentally grab yours. And this is another one of those things that a lot of travelers just don't think to buy for themselves, but they're really inexpensive and really cute. This one's got a bunch of sushi on it, which I just think is so, so adorable. You can also get full luggage covers that cover the entire suitcase. You can even get customized ones where you just get the person's face and it's pasted a million times on the cover and then the entire suitcase wrap is just their face. I saw one of these in the wild a few months back and I thought it was super funny. So if you have time to get something customized, I think that would be the ultimate thoughtful gift. That won't cost too much money. Keeping things under the $20 budget, another really fun idea is getting something like a passport cover. So this is a gift that my friend got me probably close to 10 years ago and I still bring it on every trip. And the fun thing is you can get so many different designs and even customized ones if you want with their initials depending on their aesthetic and taste. So that's definitely a really good option. Again, just make sure it's something kind of personal to them and not just a generic one. And if you're shopping for someone who likes to accessorize a really great cheap gift, is a travel jewelry case. So this jewelry case is definitely a great buy. When it's on sale, it's honestly, it's something less than $5. So it's genuinely just such a good deal. It's this fun little travel accessory case. You can have space for rings. You have like a little mirror and in the back, there's even space for necklaces and stuff. So if you're shopping for someone who has a lot of accessories, this is honestly the ultimate cheap gift to get them. And if you're shopping for someone who takes photos on a camera rather than on their phone, then a really fun idea is to get them a unique camera strap. I would show you mine, but it's hooked onto the camera that's currently recording this video. So you'll just have to imagine. Basically, there are tons of really cool camera straps that you can buy that are very inexpensive. And also you can customize them. There's ones in different patterns. And it's really just a fun way to accessorize your camera and kind of get something a bit cooler than the standard Nikon or Sony straps that come with the camera. And again, a lot of people don't think to buy this for themselves. So I do think it's a really great idea. Another fun idea is getting little bits of travel themed decor. So I wouldn't necessarily get someone home decor unless you're very familiar with their aesthetic. But if you are and you know that they would be into cute little travel themed things, I have two things I want to show you. First are these really, really cute mini suitcase vases. As you can see, they're quite small, but they're very cheap. They come in a pack of two. And I've been using these to hold my pens or to hold little flowers and stuff. I think that these are so adorable. Definitely something that a traveler would love to display in their home, especially if their aesthetic 
kind of matches this cutesy vibe, I should say. Another fun one that's also super practical is I found this really cute airplane bottle opener. And I honestly think that this is just the perfect gift for someone who's into flying, into aviation, or just travel in general. It's a bottle opener shaped like an airplane. I mean, I don't really need to go too in depth, but it's kind of metallic and very pretty. And I just feel like this would be a huge hit and also not expensive. Lastly, there are a ton of really cool practical travel gifts that you can get for people under $20. The reason I've left them for last is just because I feel like these things, while practical, they don't feel as gifty, you know what I mean? If you're like, here's a towel, have fun on your trip, it doesn't feel as much like a gift as some of the other options. But I do think the key with these practical gifts is to make it reference something in the past. So what I mean by that is if you're getting someone a cute little travel mini fan, for instance, you can leave a note with it that's like, oh, so you don't faint on the subway way again or something like that that references a previous trip or some kind of inside joke that way the practical gift feels more thoughtful so a few of the things that you can get that are travel themed that cost less than 20 bucks you can get a digital luggage scale for instance if they travel often this is an amazing gift because then you can just weigh your bags on the go and you don't need to worry and stress about if your bags are overweight Another thing if they're very outdoorsy is a life straw. This is basically a portable water filter that allows you to get clean drinking water wherever you are. So it's really practical and also super cool. You can also get some things that'll help them pack. So up until recently, I used to just throw all my travel cables into a bag, which is obviously not very organized, but now I have this really cool handy dandy travel organizer. And so this is a very practical gift for someone who's got tons of gadgets allows them to keep all their cables and everything super organized and I just think it's a genius gift. On a similar note, if they don't have these already, reusable toiletry bottles are honestly such an incredible gift because with them you can just bring any of your favorite skincare products or shampoo or anything and it's also better for the environment because they're reusable. So they come in all sorts of fun shapes and colors these days. If you know that they don't have something like this already, this is definitely a practical gift that they're gonna love. Now moving up a tier in price, let's do gifts that are up to $50. The first one is I love these so much. These are special coasters that I got my boyfriend a few years ago and I got these off of Etsy and honestly they're just like my favorite coasters ever. They're made out of wood and they have different maps of places that we've been or places that are significant to us and you can even put like a location pin. They are also really cool looking coasters so they're not tacky at all. Getting these does take a bit of planning so if you're thinking about it definitely order them now just because they can take a while to make and also a while to ship especially during the holidays but I think that these are honestly just the cutest coasters ever and just really thoughtful as well if you get them with special places that are significant to their lives. You can also get different coasters that aren't wooden. Honestly, the sky's the limit when it comes to custom stuff on Etsy. I'm on there all the time. This video isn't sponsored by the way. I just love trawling Etsy for gifts. Overall, just something that pays homage to places they've been, I think would make a really good gift. And for a more practical gift, you can also consider getting them an air tag. Now, the cool thing is if they don't have an air tag already, Honestly, I don't want to say you can't have too many, obviously you can, but even if you only have one, you'd happily welcome a second or a third. And these are just really handy things that you can slip into your suitcase or in a bag and it syncs to your iPhone and it basically allows you to track the location of your keys or your suitcase, etc. And it just brings so much peace of mind, especially when you're checking a bag, just because it's good to know that the bag made the plane or at least if your bag goes missing, you can track it down. These are only compatible with an iPhone though, so if you are shopping for someone who has an Android phone, definitely look into alternatives, like I believe Tile is compatible with all devices. Another very practical idea is getting them a portable charger. So I recently bought this one from Inu. I don't know how to pronounce the brand name, but it's supposedly, according to their product page, the slimmest one on the market. So it's actually more or less the size of a phone. I'm trying to see if I have my phone. I do not, but it's, let me compare it with my hand. You can easily slip it into your pocket. It's quite slim, also not very expensive, and it's very cute. Like the little logo thing on the side is a bear paw and it shows you how much battery power you have left. So, you know, if you don't have as much battery, only like two parts of the paw are lit up. So I think this is a very, very cool gift. And if they don't have a portable charger already, this would be so practical because these days you need your phone for everything. So it's very handy to have one of these and it's not very expensive. So definitely worth looking into. 
Now this definitely feels like overkill, but if you're shopping for someone who loves to be comfy, then definitely look into a portable travel blanket. This is super soft. It's the Eversnug and it is a travel blanket that zips up into a pillow formation. So it can also be used as a travel pillow and it comes in a bunch of colors. The cutest one is pink, obviously, but there's a bunch of options. Now, a more thoughtful idea that's within this price range might be some kind of custom art that references their travels in some way. And I know I was just talking about Etsy earlier, but honestly, it's such a goldmine for custom art and custom prints and things like that. It also makes a really great last minute gift because a lot of these artists do digital commissions. And so they'll just send you a digital copy of the file and then you can go out get it printed at a print shop, buy a frame, and get it all done in a day. So I do think there's a lot of really great options. And be sure to check out the written version of this guide because I'll be linking to a lot of my favorite different custom travel art things. But just from a quick search, some really nice ones I like include the super cool hot air balloon one that you can customize with a map of a significant destination. There's also this adorable illustrated one that you can fit six places into that just, it looks so cute when it's framed. There's also a watercolor sketch that you can get done of some more special, so maybe a cafe that they went to that they really loved or a really gorgeous hotel that they stayed at. The more personal, the better. And if you're not into the whole art idea, there's also a lot of really cool photo frames that you can buy as well. So I've seen some really cool ones that are shaped like maps. So let's imagine like all 50 states on a map and then you can put a photo of yourself in each state and then watch it fill up, which I think is super adorable. So definitely look into some kind of home decor because travelers, we're sentimental people and often we love commemorating our travels in a special way. So this would definitely be a very thoughtful and nice gift. Another idea is a really high quality water bottle. And I know what you're thinking, water bottle feels like kind of a lame gift, but to be honest, it is such a practical gift and also is something that they wouldn't buy for themselves. So I have this really cute hydro flask and I love it. I mean, look at the color, it's super cute. And it's also from a local mountain near where I live. So it's got a cute little bear on it, absolutely adorable. There's obviously tons of different options out there. In fact, if you are shopping for someone who is quite sentimental, a really cool water bottle I came across recently is one that has spaces for stickers and it comes with these stickers so that when you visit a certain country or national park, you can peel off the sticker and put it on your water bottle, which looks so cool. And if I didn't already have a great water bottle, I probably would buy one of those for myself because they're very, very cool. Now for frequent travelers, another fun idea would be to get them an air fly. So I hadn't heard about these until very recently, but basically air flies are these little devices that you plug into the headphone jack of an airplane. And with it, you can use your wireless headphones on the plane instead of having to have a wired connection, which is how it typically is these days. But if you're shopping for someone who always has their wireless headphones in, I bet you they would secretly love to receive this gift. All right, now let's bump up the budget to $100. One of the first ideas I really like that I think is super thoughtful is getting them some kind of custom pillow that shows the different travel destinations that they've been to. So again, this is a bit dicey if you're not familiar with their aesthetic or how they like to decorate their home, maybe stay away from this. But as someone who's received a very similar gift in the past, I thought it was just such a cute way to document your travels. Again, Etsy has lots of options for customized travel pillows. You can get one of a world map and then you can put little dots in places they've been. And so that's definitely something worth looking into. Another really cool idea is getting them a custom vinyl. I didn't actually know that you could do these until very recently, but basically you can order custom vinyls these days where you send them a playlist of the songs you wanna include. You can send them the art for the vinyl and it comes to you as a vinyl disc. And so this would be really great for someone who is super sentimental, someone ideally that you've traveled with before. And I think it would be really cool if you took a photo from the trip and then you put together a list of songs from the trip that you did together. And then that would just be a vinyl that they can listen to when they want to reminisce on the journeys that you've taken together. I don't know. I personally think that's super cute and it's shockingly not as expensive as you'd think. So definitely look into that. And if you are shopping for someone who's quite sentimental and also social, I think another fun idea in this price category would be to get them some kind of instant camera. So Instaxes are super popular, but these days Kodak also does an instant print camera that's a bit thinner. So I think actually more portable, maybe a bit more ideal for travels. But basically with this, you'd be able to print travels instantly. So if you're shopping for someone who's a backpacker or likes to meet new friends on their travels, I think this would be such a fun idea. Lastly, going back to the whole, the best gift is an experience kind of thing. I know sometimes it's hard to gift an experience and have it feel gifty, 
And as I mentioned before, I do have some free templates for you to use if you want some help in that regard. But if you want something a bit more convenient, one really cool company that does experience gift boxes is called Tingly. And basically with them for a hundred bucks, you can buy one of their essentials boxes. And I'm pretty sure that comes with tens of thousands of different experiences across the world. So you can basically buy this box, wrap it up. Your recipient can then look and redeem different experiences that are within the package. So that allows you to gift them some kind of bucket list experience without needing to know necessarily what they want to do or where they're going. And so I think that's definitely a great idea as well if you're looking for a bit of a shortcut. All right, now before we get into the no cost gift ideas, I'm just gonna bump it up to the final price tier, which is gifts over $100. So the first one I think is just the best gift ever if they don't have one already, and that is an e-reader. So like a lot of people, when I started going to university and stuff, I stopped reading for fun. And this thing reignited my love for reading. So I think if you're shopping for someone who travels a lot and also like likes to read in any capacity, this is an epic gift, especially if you get one that is compatible with your local library program, because then you can literally borrow books for free from the library through this one device. And it's very lightweight. Mine is the Kobo Clara. I highly recommend getting this for someone if you know that they like reading, you know that they travel a lot because this is just the ultimate travel companion. Another really practical gift idea that I'm sure any traveler would love is a solid carry-on suitcase because honestly suitcases are expensive so being able to receive one as a gift is just mm, perfect but you have to be careful with this one because a lot of the time people can be picky with their aesthetics and travelers in particular can be picky when it comes to their gear so don't get them a suitcase willy-nilly make sure that you get them a brand that you know they like or in a color that they've mentioned that they like before. One really sneaky way to potentially learn which luggage brands they like is by checking on their social media and seeing if they're following any particular accounts or companies. And this goes for not just luggage, but also any other branded goods. And yeah, that's my little stalker hack for you, but a carry-on suitcase would be an amazing gift. Another very practical but amazing gift idea is a good set of noise cancelling headphones. So I personally have been traveling with the same set for the past five years and it has changed my travel life. Honestly, these Sony, I, can't, I can never remember the exact number but I'll put, it, I'll put it on the screen. These Sony headphones are the best. I can sleep like a baby on a plane even when there's like 10 screaming babies around me. So if it's within your budget, getting them a good pair of noise cancelling headphones is honestly such a game changer. Another great but pricey gift is some kind of cool camera. So I don't necessarily mean like a professional camera, although if that's within your budget, that I'm sure they would appreciate that. But these days they make a lot of really cool cameras that are specifically suited for travel. So there's GoPros, of course, but these days Insta360 has really released a lot of super cool products that I think any traveler would love to receive, especially if they're into making videos and stuff. So this one, for instance, is the Insta360 Go 3, and it's already really small. Like, I don't know if you can see it compared to my hand. It's already really small, but the coolest feature about this one is that this little thumb shaped one actually detaches. So there you go. So look at that. It's like literally the size of my thumb and it comes with a magnetic necklace. You can wear it and like hide it under your shirt even because the magnet looks a bit silly. And I just think that, you know, if you're shopping for someone who likes to make videos, this could be such a game changer. So definitely worth looking into. There's also, if they're more into like a vintage sort of vibe, they're making these really cool cameras these days that make it look like you're taking photos with film, but it's actually fully digital. I believe they're called paper shoot cameras. They look really nice, but they're quite pricey. So yeah, just keep in mind that camera gear, unique camera gear especially, is always going to be welcome for a traveler who likes to document their travels. All right, last but not least, as promised, here are some gift ideas for travelers that don't cost anything or cost barely anything. So the first idea is a kind of travel journal that you write prompts in, almost like making it a guided journal. So what I mean by that is if you just buy a journal, even from the dollar store, and then you open it up and fill it with cute little doodles, little inside jokes, travel dares, or things that they can use to kind of guide their travels moving forward, this would be such a thoughtful gift. It does take quite a bit of time, but I think this idea in particular is really sweet and really cute. And I actually did something super similar for a friend as a wedding gift a few years ago, and basically I just took her honeymoon itinerary and put it in this journal and kind of gave her little prompts and doodles, and apparently it made her ball her eyes out. So that is definitely an idea worth stealing. 
Another really fun idea that's completely free is creating some kind of travel playlist. So this is similar to the vinyl idea, except it costs no money. And basically it's just this idea of you can hop on Spotify and you can curate a bunch of songs either for a future trip or something that's reminiscent of a previous trip whatever you choose, which is kind of like a new school version of a mixtape, but I think it's really cute. And for optimal cuteness points, what you can actually do is you can generate a Spotify code. You can do that on the Spotify website and it looks like this. And then you can just hop on Canva and create some custom cover art or album art for your mixtape. And I just think it's super adorable. Either you can print it out and give it to them as a card or you can just give them a digital version. I feel like this is just such a thoughtful gift and it would literally cost you $0. Another really fun and sentimental idea is creating a travel memories jar. So you could just grab an empty mason jar, whatever, and take pieces of paper and write down travel memories. And you can print out little photos and put them in this jar and give it to them so that whenever they're feeling sad, they can just open up their jar of travel memories. I think that's super adorable. And on a similar note, another idea that's kind of like that is an open when letter. So I don't know if you've heard of these before, but they're basically letters that you can give to people. And then on the front, it says open when you're feeling homesick or open when you're feeling sad. And it's just a set of letters that are designed for a specific purpose. And I think this would be a really good idea if you're getting a gift for someone who's going away for a long time, like studying abroad or moving somewhere else. I did this for a friend of mine a few years ago before she left for a study abroad program. And honestly, the sky's the limit when it comes to these open when letters. I made her a bunch. One of them was literally open when you're hungry. And I managed to get a sachet of instant mashed potatoes in there. I mean, I don't know if it was like legal to bring that across the border, but she loved it. So yeah, definitely another great idea to steal. And last but certainly not least, Honestly, with loved ones, one of the best gifts that you can give them is your attention and your time. So really, I feel like if you're trying to get a gift for someone who travels and you're trying to make it low cost, the best thing you can do is just plan a date day for you two. You can go explore places in your hometown, you can create a fun itinerary out of it, make it a whole adventure date day and pack a picnic, go explore places that you've not been to. Odds are there are cool things to do near you that are cheap or free. And really just making the extra effort to plan a fun experience where you live is gonna make them cry probably. So definitely a great idea. All right, thank you so much for watching. I hope that list of travel themed gift ideas was helpful to you. And as usual, be sure to leave a comment if you need extra help. Again, as I mentioned, I love giving people gift ideas. Be sure to like and subscribe for more travel themed videos just like this one. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you guys next week. Bye.